Hey everybody, my name is Kerrick, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a cool new game which is in open beta right now. It is called Chronicle RuneScape Legends, I think. Chronicle RuneScape Legends, yes. I'm sorry, it's such a long name, it's kind of confusing to me, but hey, this is a brand new digital card game with a twist. You might look at this and say, hey, it looks a bit like Hearthstone, and you wouldn't be wrong there, except the board that you play on is completely different, and the game mechanics are completely different as well. For example, when you play cards in this game, you are not playing them to defeat the your opponent's cards. Your character that you are playing will end up doing battle with the cards that you play. It's really, really cool and it's a brand new twist on, on this. I've not seen this done anywhere else. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong there in the comment section below. I've played through the tutorial and that is it. I, I basically just want to take you through you know, the very basics of this game. So I'm going to do a practice match because I've just done the tutorial and I'm going to play this guy who I played for the tutorial. Uh, as soon as I logged in, it gave me this guy. Uh, yeah, it, as soon as I logged in, this is the guy it gave me to play. It looks like I'm going to play against the exact same character. <laughs> and we'll see how this goes. Now, I'm, so, I'm just so enamored with this game. Because it looks so different to Hearthstone. I love Hearthstone, I just hate the fact that I feel like it's pay to win. You need to have all the cards in order to make all the decks that you want to make, the, the meta decks. Whereas uh, this could be a, a new beginning for me. We'll, we'll have to wait and see if it becomes pay to win or whatever. But these are the cards that we are starting with. And I'll briefly explain to you what what all the stats mean. I don't think we're on a timer. No. All right, so take this one, for example. As I mentioned before, you do battle with the cards that you put into play. So if you look top left of this card, you see a, a, a flame with a seven in it. That means that card will do seven attack if it gets to hit you, but it has two health. So you only have to deal two damage to this. You get to attack it first in order to destroy it. If you can't do two damage, then it's going to get to hit you for seven. However, if you do defeat it, the bottom has things that you will collect from the card if you defeat it. So it, this is a shield, it represents armor, you will gain 8 armor if you defeat it. However, you will also remove 6 of your health, so in a way you're only gaining 2 from it because you get the 8 armor, you remove 6 health, blah blah blah. Uh, some of these cards require gold to play. Now, if you, if you play this one, it says it requires 0 gold, for some reason, I don't know why it would have that there if it doesn't require any gold to play. But if you defeat it, it will give you three gold coins, which you can then use to play, say, this one, which costs one gold coin, and this one costs two. And all of these on-use effects will affect your character and not your opponent. So you're not only playing against an opponent in this game, you're playing against yourself as well. So. Uh, I do get some mulligan. I have no idea what's in my deck, by the way. I've just got to play the tutorial, so I saw very few cards. Um, so don't expect pro plays in this game. I'm just going to play through this match uh, and share it with you, basically, on YouTube. So let me see here. Do I want to get rid of any of these? I, I feel like... Uh, I think we start off with two damage. So maybe I should mulligan... Well, you know, uh, nah. I I'm just going to go with all of them. I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to mulligan cards in this game. But look at this board. Excuse me, I have hiccups. Look at this board. You get to see your opponent across the way there. It is like a, a 3D board. Can you imagine playing this in virtual reality? I know there's already a VR card game out there, which looks awesome. But this would just be perfect for VR. Absolutely perfect. So it looks like... We need to play our cards now. On the board, you can see my character and his, uh, the opponent's character on the left. We're going to be moving left to right, defeating the cards that we put into play. And we have four spaces here. And we're going to put all the cards we want into play. And then we're going to hit play and see what happens. Now, our stats are at the bottom here. We have two attack, no gold coins, and 30 health. The opponent has exactly the same thing. So, if I was to play 
this first, for example, I would defeat it before it gets to hit me. However, it will remove six of my health, but then again, it will give me eight armor. So let's see. Uh, we may choose to play this to get three gold. Uh, it says it will remove my weapon, which I currently don't have equipped, so I'll probably want to play that now while I don't have a weapon going. That will give me three gold. Then I can use the three gold to perhaps use this card. Um, defense potion. Remove four attack from your next creature. So that's kind of useful. Like if we're if we're gonna put down a card, say this one that we can't kill in one attack and it will hit us, then that would be very useful to have the defense potion in play first. However, this is only gonna hit us for one. So that's not so bad. We may want to save this. Uh, what else do we have? Battle rival draw one card. Yeah, so we get to attack our opponent if we play this card. Now, if we had a weapon equipped, which would go in the, the empty slot to the left of our attack number here, um, which is the flame icon, then we, if we had a weapon there, then we could absolutely play this and deal damage to our opponent. So what are we going to go for first? I think... I think we're going to want to play this because we don't have a weapon we'll How get can I be of service, yeah we'll get three gold I don't think I want to play these just yet though what is this spend two armor ah. all right so I'm thinking we play this we kill it um, we spend two armor and deal damage to our opponent how much is this gonna hit me for so we get eight we remove six and then, hmm, we're damaging ourselves a lot here. But you know what? Let's do it. Let's live life on the edge. And then I think we'll play one of these. I think we'll play this one first, and then this one. And we'll hit play and see what happens. Here we go. So you get to see the opponent attacking their cards. Welcome. It's like they've done the same card that we did. Get eight armor, remove six health. Alright. So we kill this, we lose six health. We get eight armor. You see that armor in the bottom right hand corner of our stats here? Rival takes three damage and loses two weapon durability. Well, we took damage, but we don't have a weapon. Alright, we got more armor. We're on the same amount of health as our opponent. Spend two armor, deal four damage to a rival. That took their armor away. So we're technically ahead right now. We're technically ahead. Every turn, you get three cards given to you. So whatever cards you have left over from the previous turn, you get an additional three cards. And as you can see, the map has changed. There are a total of five, up to five, Per game that you play uh, and it depends how quickly you're able to defeat your opponent or defeat yourself I guess in a way as to how many of those chapters as they're called plays out but technically they're turns but it, look at this map it's so cool All right so what do we want to do now we have three gold so we can technically use our support cards which cost gold to use um, we could do this one Rival takes three damage and loses two weapon durability. Well, they don't, they don't have a weapon, so do we want to save this? We have no weapon, so I still don't feel like using this one. Um, we can gain more armor by defeating this. Ooh. If only I had one more gold coin, we could use this one and gain an extra attack. Uh, this one, Nastroth, when, when you defeat it, it gives you the one in the flame icon there, adds it to our own. So we'll end up with three attack if we can play this, but we don't have enough gold to do it. And none of the cards that I have give me gold. So we're not playing that this turn. So what do we want to do here? This absolutely I do not want to play this right now. Nine health and we'll do eight damage every single time it hits me. However, it will give me five health back. But when you're only doing two damage, that's going to be hitting me several times. I do not want. Do not want. Okay, so let me see. Let me, well, we could remove four attack from the next creature. So how much damage would it do to me if I'm doing two uh, two, four, six, eight. It would take five attacks. Two, four, six, eight. Five attacks for me to kill it. 
uh, which means 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 damage to me. But gives me 5 health back, so that's 15. That's, that's way too much. Way too much. We need to save this for when we can actually do more damage. Uh, I really want to be able to play this one, but we can't. So it looks like I'm going to go for the armored zombie. This will give me extra uh, armor, but it will get to hit me once because it has three health and we do two attacks. So let's put that in there. Uh, we may choose to just use this, like, right now. And I think I might... By the way, you don't have to fill all these slots. I could just play two cards this turn and, and hit play. And it doesn't matter. Um, oh my goodness, though. I wish I could play this one, but I can't. I need to stop thinking about the ones I'd like to play. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to play this. Deal three damage. Does, he might end up having a weapon. You never know. You never know. Actually, do I want to... I'm going to... No, I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to deal damage to my rival. I don't have a weapon. I'm assuming that I'll still do two damage to him. And I'm going to draw a card. And then I'm going to play this, which deals three damage. And he might have played a weapon by this point. So that would be really cool. Um, we can't play anymore. We have one more slot, but we can't play anymore. So hit play and let's see what happens. Yes, he's picked up a weapon. That is awesome. So we're about to upset him a little bit. If it was a real person. I assume I'm playing against AI here. Alright, we've got an extra card and we hit him for two. Oh, but then he hit me for four. Rival takes two damage and loses a weapon durability. That's his weapon gone. Yes, yes. We only got to hit me once with it. And we're still ahead. He's on 19 health. We're on 24 health with 5 armor, so we're doing pretty good here. Uh, what do we have? Oh, we could get a weapon now. We could get a weapon. I wish I had more gold. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking right now. There's a lot of combos. There's a lot of thinking as to, okay, which card should I play and in which order? There's a lot of different combos, so I'm told. Um, very, very cool combos, but I'm figuring this out as we go. So I could play this. It would get to hit me once for four damage, but I think we can afford to do that. We've still got five armor, and we'll get three coins, which puts us up to four. I could then play this if I wanted to. Um, which would give me an extra attack. That puts my attack up to three. I could then play this and get a weapon. And... So that will increase... to six. Alright, let, let's... We can change this if we want to. So we play that, we get three gold, which means I can play that. Okay. That will have three attack after that card, so we could play this one and get the weapon, which puts our attack up to five. Puts our attack up to five. We have one gold. Um, puts our attack up to five. Oh, this would be awesome. That's like a finishing move, isn't it? Um, push our attack up to five, so I could do this one. Do I want to play that one? Push our attack up to five. Hmm. I think there's probably something I could do with Defense Potion right now. Instead of playing this, we could play this. Right, let me see what that would look like. So we would play... Alright, so we would play that first. It's going to hit us for five, though. And then we could do this. And 
No. You know what? I like the way it was. I like the way it was. And we're gonna play this in the final slot. I think that's I think that's right. Here we go. Alright. So they discarded a random card. But they gained an extra attack. We got hit once and we gained three gold to play our next card. Remove three armor, remove four health from next something something. I didn't quite catch that. Gain armor equal to rival's total attack. Well, they've gained three armor. We're still ahead. Now we've got a weapon. Draw two cards, take two damage. That's one of our weapon durability is gone, by the way. And all of our armor is now gone. We're still... Uh, we're no longer ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the, uh, the opponent has seven armor. Holy cow. Oh, but look. Okay. Whew. Let me think here. Remove three armor. We don't have any. Remove four health from the next creature. Four health from the next creature. So what do we want to kill... We can regain health. We could one-shot this and regain five health. Um, simply by playing this one first. What else could we do? This is awful. Remove six health and then gain eight armor. Seems kind of pointless. Uh, we can discard a random card to gain one attack, but I don't think we need it right now. Ooh, I think we're gonna go for this. Remove three armor, which we don't have, so it's no effect. Remove four health from the next creature. We have five attack. So we could literally defeat this in a one and regain five health and get an extra attack point. All right, next, 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 next. Uh, we still have three gold. Um, that's gonna reduce Yeah, I think we're going to lose our weapon after this, so we'll be back down to three. Gain armor equal to rival's attack. I would quite like to play that, but I have a feeling we're not going to have five attack. I mean, does killing this remove a durability? That's what I'm not sure about. It has no health. I'm going to play as though we'll still have one durability left, and that could lose us the game if I am wrong, but hey, you got to take risks, right? And we're learning. We are learning. So I could literally kill this. Okay. And then what? And then what? Attack this thing? No. Okay. Okay. We're gonna try this. They gain they gained four armor. That did not use a weapon durability. Awesome. They took two damage but drew two cards. It also took me two, two attacks to kill that card. We gained five health and one attack. And we have six total now. Gain armor equals the rival's total attack. Three. We're gaining health and armor. We move six health but gain eight armor. Yep. We're ahead, we're ahead, we're ahead. Yes, we're on the final chapter. If we are unable to defeat our opponent, which is looking likely, by the end of this turn, we will do battle. We will do battle with them. So it's really important to reduce their health as much as we can right now. Oh, so how can we do that? It may have something to do with this. But it has 13 health, and I don't want to take too much damage. The question is... 
What if I was to play this, remove 4 health from the next creature, and then this, which also removes 4 health? Will they stack if, if this is the very next creature in play? Will they stack? Gain health equal to your armor. We can't have more than 30 health, so we could take damage and then play this at the end. Yeah, so... Okay, let me think, let me think. So, okay. If I did this... And I spent two gold to play this. That leaves us with two. And then I play this, which gives me two. And we're back to four. And then I can play this. No. Does that need to go first? I think that needs to go first. Or we could just... No. No. Oh, it's... Maybe it should... We need that in there, because we're not going to have enough gold. The question is, how much armor will I have left? That removes three armor, so I'll be down to 12. Um, so four, eight, takes it down to five. So we're going to get hit twice. We're going to get hit for 12. We're not going to have any armor. Hmm. What? Okay. What if this goes in here? We could just, like, heal up immediately. Alright. Here we go. We're gonna heal up to full. It's kind of... I'm gonna do it. But then that uses all of our gold. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Hmm. We can't do it that way. We cannot do it that way. Remove four attack. Uh. How did I have it before? I think we had that. And that. And this. And then what's our final card gonna be? We're not going to have any armor, so we may as well go for this one. Okay, here we go. Let's hope this works out. Two potions, hopefully it stacks. <sighs> Please let it stack. Yes, yes, it went to the dragon. It went to the dragon. Yes! No, it didn't stack. Bugger. It didn't stack. We're gonna get hit. Oh, but the attack... Oh, I see. I see it. It reduced the card's attack. How did I misread that? Alright, we got loads more health than our opponent. We're gonna do battle. We're doing five damage to each other every time we hit. We're gonna win. We're gonna win, we're gonna win! No mercy. Yes! That's a win! Victory! Victory! We got a one-off reward for winning. What is this? 75 store coins. We should probably take a look before ending this video what exactly is on the store. The raptor awaits a worthy opponent. Okay, uh... Complete. It's worth noting, by the way. I must try Ooh. Oh, we're unlocking cards by leveling, just like in Hearthstone. Right, it's worth noting this is an open beta, and there's also daily quests. So let's have a look. Play three practice games for 300 coins. Pay for 10 support cards. Win three games. Uh, where is the store? Where is the store? I have 75 coins. 
Spend on new card packs in the store. Platinum ingots. Right, maybe the store isn't live right now. Maybe it's not live. Let me see. Oh no. Store. Is this page win? Well. There are card packs. Card packs you can pay for with platinum ingots. We haven't we haven't gained any of those, so we're not quite sure yet how I get them. Um, buy platinum. Oh, that that's taken me to an external link. Oh, okay. So the external link, which you can't see right now, is it's taken me to a page where I can purchase platinum ingots for real money. 150 platinum ingots are one pound ninety nine. You can buy 7,500 platinum ingots for 52.49, and then you spend them on booster packs. Two basic boosters are 140 platinum ingots. So £1.99 gets you two packs from the look of it. Yeah. And you, you can get 50. For 2800 which is basically 25 pound okay so just like in Hearthstone you can purchase packs for real money or you can buy one basic booster pack for a thousand copper or coins yeah copper coins which you can actually earn in game a thousand for one pack how long would that take like we gained 75 just from winning that one game so I'll let, I'll let you all think about that. Let me know what you think about this game down in the description below. Or, sorry, in the comment section. Leave me a comment. I'm thinking about this shop, and I'm wondering if it's any good or not. The game itself is a ton of fun. A ton of fun. But I'm kind of concerned that it could fall into the same trap as Hearthstone. If you don't keep up with all the best cards, you could be turned off the game because winning becomes kind of difficult. How do I leave the shop back? Yeah. So we can play against other players, we can practice, go to the store, check our collection of cards. And you can actually browse through the cards that you have. It looks like you start off with quite a few, just basic cards. Uh, remove legend filter, show cards for Ariane. The Raptor, o Ozan, Linza, and Vanescula. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to be checking this game out some more. I might stream it some. I, I think it's worth a look. I think it's worth a look. Anyway, that's it from me. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful in any way, please do go ahead. Hit the like button. It really helps me out a lot. I look forward to reading your comments on this one. Please keep it civil down there. Be nice to one another, and I will see you next time.